Hello, my name is Jose Picardo. I am a languages teacher and I also write a blog called Box of Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to start your own classroom or subject blog and also how you could use it. A blog is a website to which you can easily add new entries with the minimum technical knowledge. You can use your subject blog to showcase your students' work, often to a worldwide audience, which is a very powerful motivating factor. If you allow or even encourage your students to comment on each other's work, that's great for assessment for learning and it fosters self-evaluation. You can also add to your blog multimedia work your students have created using Web 2.0 tools. The fact that creating content is very engaging and motivating. You can also channel your students' enthusiasm for media-rich content by asking them to create their own videos. As a language teacher, something I do sometimes is to record my students. They will try harder if they know they're being recorded. To me, sharing resources is one of the most important aspects of having a blog. Not only can you share the resources that you have created for your students, but you can also share the resources your students have created for themselves. A blog is also the perfect platform to deliver listening resources and podcasts, because the resources are hosted online and therefore constantly and repeatedly available. Ideally, your classroom blog should become a one-stop shop for all your students' needs, as you can link from it to external resources you have approved. These can include pedagogically sound videos from video sharing sites such as YouTube or TeacherTube. Why not ask your students to create their own videos for YouTube? I teach all the way to university entry level, so I often link to interesting articles from current affairs to promote independent study. The most important things to remember are that a blog is not a static website. It can be easily updated and these updates can be delivered to your subscribers via RSS. And always worth remembering is the fact that blogs can have multiple users. There are a number of free blogging platforms out there. I'm going to be showing you how to create your blog using WordPress, because that's the platform I'm most familiar with. EduBlogs is a multi-user version of WordPress, so that'll be very similar too. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to go to wordpress.com and sign up. Think hard about what username you're going to choose, because it will become part of your blog's web address. It will probably be the name your blog will be known by. Choose a password and then type in your email address, as well as your blog title, which will be your slogan if you like, what your blog stands for. WordPress will then send you an email with a link. You then need to follow the link to activate your blog. And that's it. You now have a blog. To log on and start writing posts, simply type in the username and password you chose earlier. Blogs are easily customizable and you can change the look of your blog by simply choosing a different theme. In WordPress, you can choose from literally hundreds of different themes. Once you've found the one you want, activating it is really simple. As you can see, everything is very simple and intuitive, very visual. Simply click and choose. Adding entries to your blog is just as easy. Simply click on Add New Post. Then you type in your title. And then you type in the content. From now on, WordPress looks like any other text editor. If you can word process, you can write a post. As well as text, you can easily add videos, for example, or music, MP3s, as well as photos. Watch closely how easy it is to embed a YouTube video, for example. Simply click on Add Video and follow the on-screen instructions.
Then go to YouTube, copy the URL from the top, and paste it into your post. And that's it. Your post is now ready to be published. You can now visit your blog to confirm that you've changed theme and you've added a new post. And there you are, your new look blog and your new post, including the YouTube video. Adding images or photos is just as easy. Simply explore the toolbar on your WordPress text editor and play around with the different tools. And don't worry if you make mistakes, it's really easy to go back and edit or correct any mistakes you make. As with any word processor, you can change your font to bold or italic. You can also increase the size of your font. You can also add pictures and align them to the left, center or right. And you can easily add links to other websites as well. Simply click on add link and type in the web address you wish to link to. As you grow more confident with your blog, you'll be able to do more and more things. You might even feel confident enough to tweak the HTML code in your blog. I would certainly recommend you play around with it. You could always press the undo button if you make a mistake. Once you've made all the changes you want, you can update your post. Your blog post is now updated with all the changes you've made. OK, so those are the reasons why you might want to have your own blog, and that's how easy it is to start your own. And now the most difficult part of it. You need to come up with something interesting to write about. You can read more about blogging in the classroom in my website, www.boxoftricks.net. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching and goodbye.